Hey everybody, it's, it's Mr. Giles, and I'm here with another tutorial on pixel art. This is an update of a previous version. Um, there's a link in an old video, and I'm gonna point that out to you right now. It's bit.ly forward slash Mr. G pixel art, P-I-X-E-L. We're gonna be using the website P-I-X-I-L pixel art, um, P-I-X-I-L art.com. So I want you to go there. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on start drawing. We're just gonna get into this. Um, pixel art is the art of making drawings at the pixel level. It's almost like the cellular level of an image. So I'm gonna just say new drawing and it's gonna ask me the size. And I would like you all, if you're following along with me, to start with a 20 by 20. It's, I think it starts at 100 by 100. I want you to start at 20 by 20. We wanna get down to the basics, the nitty gritty of pixel art, okay? We're gonna close the advertisement. We're gonna select the pencil tool. We're gonna to make sure that we click on the primary color and it should be black by dragging all the way to the bottom left-hand corner. And when we click, it should fill in one square at a time. Um, and you can right-click to erase. So regular click is draw, uh, right-click is erase. I'm gonna look at the samples I have here. And I want to start with something very simple. So I'm going to start with this heart. And you can see it says 13 by 15. And if you count across, I want, uh, this is a, I forget what size this square is. It's probably a 20 by 20 square or close to. But I count over one, two, three, and then I got three dots, one, two, three. So I'm going to just do that. I'm going to switch to red. I'm going to pick a reddish color. And you can sort of drag between. I'm just going to get that color red. I'm going to count over one, two, three, and I'm going to click one, two, three. And I'm going to go back and look at the sample. And there's three spaces and then does three more. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then I'm going to go back and look at the sample. Now this one is one, two, three, four. It's five and then a single space and then five more. So it starts one, two, three, four, five, then a single space, and then one, two, three, four, five. And then that's that's the process. I mean, that's the really simplified process. Now on this page that I also link to, but you can see the addresses right here if you wanna type it in that way. Um, I have these samples. This is a starting and it gives you the numbers so you can have an idea. My challenge is to start with these four right here that all fit within a 20 by 20 space. Okay, make those and then scroll down and start trying some harder ones. And the farther down my page you go, the more you'll find. And by the way, you can just search for pixel art examples. If you're on pixelart.com and you go um, to their page, you can see all kinds of crazy, amazing um, art that people have made. Uh, some of it, I think it falls out of the realm of traditional pixel art. This is definitely pixel art. Um, and they do animations. You can animate on this site. Um, there's really some just amazing things. Uh, and and some, I think, are more true pixel art style than others. Um, I think if you're like using big brushes and drawing, I don't consider that pixel art. I mean, I just think it's graphic art. It's fine. It's not a bad thing. But, um, you know, whatever you enjoy doing. And you can create an account if you want. Um, I have an account, but I just like to click start drawing and, and get into it. Um, the final step is after you've made something is saving it. So to save a thing that you've made, let's just pretend that I finished my drawing. Let's go back to it. Hopefully I can get back to it. And it usually will let you continue what you've been working on. Let's just say this was my finished heart. I'd finished and it was all done. It's like half black heart, half red. There we go. Amazing. Um, Hopefully you will make a better one than that. Uh, I'm going to go to File, Export, Download. Now, this is a step that I really want you to pay attention to. 20 by 20 is like this. It's like the fingernail of your pinky. It's smaller than that. OK, so if you export it at that size, it's going to be so tiny. So I suggest making it, you know, 800 by 800, something like that. Then when you download it, your image is going to look it's going to look nice. Now if you need it at that original size, like maybe say you're making a game or something that you're using assets of that size, then, you know, export it at the size you want. Um, and I'm going to make sure I name it. So instead of pixel frame dash zero, I'm going to call it uh, red and black heart or whatever you name it. And it should be a PNG and you save it to your downloads. Make sure that it is a PNG that you're not saving as a pixel. This is great if you want to save it 
and use it on another computer. You want to upload it somewhere so you can work on it and pick up where you left off. Um, and there you go. This save drawing button saves it, I believe, to the website and shares it with the pixel art community. So there's your intro to pixel art. Make some things, start with some things, look at some uh, purling designs. If you look up purling, purling design ideas, P-E-R-L. Um, no, I meant purling. Oh, no, purling beads. Let me try purling beads. There we go. This is purling beads. So if you look at purling beads, it's just like little, basically little circles to make patterns. And you can use that idea to make your own custom pixel art. So I hope this is a way to get you started and interested in pixel art and enjoy your day and share what you make. I'd love to see what you end up creating. And please uh, feel free to use, again, my, my link, which is bit.ly forward slash Mr. G pixel art. And that will take you to, I believe that will take you to this page that has all of my um, tutorials and stuff. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.